we've got some functions to differentiate. So first up, d by dx of e to the minus 4x. Now, you might remember from year one that d by dx of e to the kx is k e to the kx. You may have been shown where that comes from using like limits and things and looking into why e to the x differentiates for itself. Um, or you might have just been told it as a fact, but we can use it here. Or alternatively, we can use the chain rule. Now, I don't think we need to use the chain rule in full. dy by dx is uh, dy by du, du by dx. Instead, use the inside-outside version. So it's e to the something, and that differentiates to itself. And then we times by the derivative of the inside, and the inside is this minus 4x part. So that's why we times by minus 4. And that's our answer. Second question. Now we've got to differentiate x squared over x plus 1. You can set it equal to y if you like and then call it dy by dx, or you can just go straight to this sort of thing. Okay, for this I suggest using the quotient rule. Like You could write it as a product by writing it as x squared times x plus 1 to the minus 1. Use the product rule and the chain rule on the x plus 1, but that just seems unnecessary. Instead, let's use the quotient rule. So this is u, this is v, u dash is going to be 2x d dash is going to be 1. And the chain rule says, it's in the form of the book, in fact, it's u dash v minus u v dash all over v squared. So for us, it's 2x times x plus 1 minus x squared times 1, so I can just leave it as x squared, all over x plus 1 all squared. So that's, and it needs, we need to simplify it. So 2x squared plus 2x minus x squared all over x plus 1 squared, which becomes x squared plus 2x over x plus 1 squared. You could factorize out the x, but it's neat enough like this, I think.